we think of phones as a way to consume services. They pull data from across the World Wide Web, or in some cases, your LAN. In the Android and iOS world, a web connection, and in most cases, a proprietary app like YouTube or Netflix, is required to enjoy streaming media. But what if it was the other way around? What if instead of consuming services, your phone instead offered up services to your LAN? The idea of a personal cloud is intriguing to me. And since the cloud is largely made up of Linux, the library of software is big. These days, it's pretty common to spin up a small cloud instance and set up a service like Plex or OwnCloud or MB. And having a static IP address is definitely a big plus. But this idea of having a mobile cloud is something I've never really considered as interesting. Until now. The Librem 5 is running an OS based on Debian, which is a very good server OS. Let's test out running some server-side software on this phone. First up, Jellyfin. I like the licensing of Jellyfin more than I like MB, but I wasn't able to get Jellyfin running on the dev kit. Fortunately, it was rather trivial to get MB running. It was a matter of W getting the dev file and then simply apt installing that file. That's it. We are now running a server program on a phone without modification. Let's see Android do that. The next step is to connect to the dev kit. Any device on the same network will be able to reach the MB instance. Here I'm using the Librem 13 running OpenSUSE. The URL is simply the phone's IP address, colon 8096. Cool, we can see the MB initial setup dialog. We're going to need some kind of media to test with. So I went ahead and copied seasons 1 through 3 of Next Gen to an SD card. And just a note, this is 100% legally owned. I'll go ahead and mount that under slash MNT. We'll just add the media folder and let it scan away. Turns out it's ka-chunking as we try to play anything. To test, I downloaded a .mp4 file. After rescanning the library, it plays without issue. So, for whatever reason, the MKV files don't seem to play well. Or possibly it was a bad copy. But this is a Debian computer. I might as well fix the issue locally. One small script and a few hours later, all the files are converted locally to .mp4. And they play without issue. For fun, let's stress test this a little bit. Here's what it looks like streaming one connection. It did have an initial hiccup, but I didn't see it hiccup ever again. And here's two. Not much of a difference. And here's three streams running from the dev kit. There is a bit of delay when you click to a part of the video that you haven't played yet. It has no problem with three streams running on the dev kit, plus running VLC locally. That is completely nutso. Four people can enjoy this phone at the same time. Being able to host your own Netflix-like interface, plus two terabytes of micro SD card support, this phone can certainly pack in the entertainment. If you want to be able to upload and download files, Google Drive style, Aurora Files is simple to get installed. Modify source lists, add a repo key, apt update, and apt install Aurora Files. You'll need to enable Rewire for this to work. Here you can enter a new super admin password, and you should create a new user. Once logged in as the new user, this is a very basic interface to upload and download files from your phone. Pretty cool. I might give OwnCloud a try sometime. I think it would be pretty cool to have a mobile interface to my own Librem 1 email. This demonstrates a clear advantage for GNU Linux over Android Linux. While both can host content, the implementation details looks 
rather shitty on Android compared to GNU Linux. I also played a bit with the mobile hotspot. Even when I had the dev kit plugged in via Ethernet, I wasn't able to connect to the mobile hotspot, but it did show up when I was scanning for Wi-Fi connections. I think a hotspot would be epic in conjunction with a mobile server. That way, you wouldn't need to connect two devices to the same Wi-Fi. You could potentially share a Wi-Fi connection and expose your locally running services on that. Thanks for watching. Bye.